These twins were taken from their mother and tortured by Russian scientists for years. Masha and Dasha were born on January 3rd, 1950 with two heads, two torsos, four arms, and one leg each with a third leg in the back. Their mother was lied to, saying that she gave birth to a mutant and that the child had died of pneumonia, when in reality, the twins were taken to the Institute of Experimental Medicine in Moscow to be studied. Masha and Dasha had the same blood system, but different nervous systems. Scientists wanted to establish the separate roles of each, as well as their body's ability to adjust to such things as extreme climate change, extreme hunger, and sleep deprivation. The twins were viewed as the perfect human guinea pigs. They were injected with radioactive iodine to see how it affected the other and then measured with Geiger counters. One twin was packed in ice to near fatal levels to observe the temperature change in the other sister. They were electrocuted to test their reflexes, tubes were routinely placed in their stomachs to monitor gastric juices, and they had their blood drawn at least three times a day every day. This torture went on for six years until 1956. That is when they were transferred to the Central Scientific Research Institute of Traumatology and Orthopedics. That is where they learned to walk and received an elementary school education. For the next eight years, the twins remained hidden from the public. By 1964, news had spread to Moscow that the institute was home to a two-headed girl. As a result, the children were transferred to a boarding school for children with motor impairment. They remained at the boarding school for four years, and they recall it as being the happiest time in their lives. In 1968, they had their third leg amputated in an effort to keep them less noticeable to the Soviet public, who was not used to seeing disabled people. Later in life, the twins developed quite different personalities, with one being more dominant and the other being more quiet and submissive. At the age of 18, Dasha fell in love with a fellow student, but her sister quickly put an end to the romance. This put Dasha in a deep state of depression, and she actually tried to hang herself. In 1989, at the age of 39, they moved into the 20th home for veterans of war and laborers. It was a very small room with just a single bed, and they stayed there for 14 years. They did at one point track down their birth mother, and she continued to visit them for around four years until Masha broke off communication. Over the next decade, the twins became alcoholics, but only Dasha actually drank, but since they shared the same blood supply, they both became drunk. They were also once offered a procedure to separate them by British surgeon Louis Spitz. He actually specialized in separating conjoined twins, but Masha was greatly against the procedure. Masha fell ill on April 13th, 2003, complaining of back pain. Only 17 hours after the onset of symptoms, she she died of a heart attack. Dasha was taken to the hospital, but only made it another 17 hours before she passed away. She died of blood poisoning due to her sister's decomposing body. At the time of their death, they were the oldest living conjoined twins.